Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to call to order the March 16, 2022 meeting of the Park and Rec Board. Nicole, could you please call the roll? Sure. Tammy Lavenda. I'm here. Nora Kodak. Absent. George Ortel. I'm here. Nicole Sussman. Here. And Kyle Riefler. Here. Awesome. Thank you. Item number one, do I have a motion to approve today's agenda? I make a motion we approve today's agenda. Do I have a second? I second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Yes, aye. aye. Okay, so it passes. <laughs> Item number two, approval of the minutes from the February 16, 2022 Park and Rec Board meeting. Do I have a motion? Um, I'll make the motion to approve the February 16, 2022 Park and Recreation Board meeting minutes. Can I have I'll a second? second it. Thank you, George. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Minutes are passed. Um, item number three, citizen comments. We have no citizens with us today, so we're on to item number four. Um, park and Rec survey, since Nora wasn't going to be with us today, and we've had, like, you know, last month we had a lot of cold, yucky rainy windy days i decided to extend it one month so we can do all the recaps together when she gets back so we're going to skip that for this month hopefully you got that email from i know you're having email problems so hopefully you saw that from patty i think i did okay i don't know i hope I you were i hope you weren't rushing around week. this morning trying to finish your surveys and stuff no i did mine last week oh okay yeah she sent it out like but a while ago last time we had a meeting. You said something about the ramp area was. You've got the new specs on that, and it's going to be go out to bid soon. Can, can I get a copy of what that's going to look like before? I mean, I had a bunch of comments, but if they're all, you want the uh, plans for the ramp? Yeah. Oh, okay. they could all be fixed, and you don't need to say your comments. Is that what you mean? Well, yeah. If I make comments here, that it needs to be this, that, and the other thing, and it's already in. The it's plans. already done. Yeah, that's a good point. Do you want me to get it right now? No, but you know. For next meeting, just because, or do you want to look at it before the next meeting? I'd like to look at it before the next meeting, but we that don't have sense. to run out and get it now. Just okay, remind me. Okay. okay. Get it. Okay. Um, so item number five on the agenda: the April thirtieth, "Fly Me to the Moon." I presented it to City Council last Monday, and it passed seven to zero. So we are on. Um, yay! The contract has been signed um, and insurance. Thank you, Kyle, for doing that for the music. And then Nicole has secured an Italian affair. Um, it's an Italian food truck, obviously. And um, the menu is as follows. It's exactly what we were looking for. And I know Nicole worked really hard to um, find someone and lock it down and it's actually perfect so very happy about that um i'm happy too yeah yeah so the music is all good that's taken care of music is taken care of and then i'm just waiting on the updated coi thing yeah i, I totally to forgot that. oh the that insurance working that part. Little, or yeah yeah, okay. so and he'll send that back to me like as soon as he like okay. gets it. And the um, menu is as follows: P uh, for pizza slices, they're gonna sell cheese, pepperoni, the works, pepperoni rolls, ham and sausage rolls, garlic knots, and then drinks. I'm assuming like fountain drinks mm -hmm. or water, or whatever. I'm not really sure. Um, and then we're just waiting for him to give us pricing, and then we'll yep. put something. Um, we'll put something on the board to say like see website for menu or something like that and i thought maybe if we even like print it out like even something like this with the menu and the pricing we could hand it to people when they get a bottle of water or we can just you know like have nora's kids like last year they were so cute walking around passing stuff out we can have them pass out the menus to people um, since we'll have garbage and recycling out um Unless he has like a chalkboard that's, you know, you can see very clearly. But I would like the pricing so people know walking in that it's, it's like... the setup going to be the same as last time? Mm -hmm. On the back patio kind of thing? Exactly the same. Okay. Yeah. I just have to ask too if um, 
I would think he would accept cards, but I'll double check. Credit cards? Yeah, because I mean, if point. he's cash only, then we would need to know, which I don't think he is, but I'll confirm. He probably has a square, but yeah, yeah. that would be, that's a good point. Who knows? People go either way now. <laughs> so yeah, I'll ask him. Really um, nice man, so happy he's going to do it. Yes. So, which leads me to the next point. Like, Kyle got pricing for those um, Beller Beach drawstring sports packs that we were going to give away, but they're over $4 each. Or, no, they're more. It's like $400 plus. Dollars. It's four, I want to say 17 maybe. Yeah. yeah. So, they're a little pricey and it puts us over our budget. So, I wanted to bring up a point. I don't know if we want to vote on it. Um, but I. I don't even know if we could do it. Like it's something that Lynn would have to approve because we're going over our budget. So I wanted to see what you guys thought of because our um, we can't get the Italian ice vendor. So I thought an option instead of giving away the backpacks, we can get mini cannolis from Publix. We can place an order. We can get 200 of them for like $187, and we can give dessert away as opposed to giving away the backpacks. And then also, Kyle mentioned it in our last meeting, where the last Park and Rec board kind of put together a vintage car show that didn't really happen. There's all kinds of stuff in the storage room. So there's these lights and some cleaners and some towels, and between them, we should be able to put at least like everyone would get a towel or a light because we don't have enough. And then, you know, one of these items, which is like glass cleaner and multi-purpose armor all and tire foam. So we would put like little gift bags together with these because these are nice to have. Everybody would like these and it would get them out of the storage room. So we're still, we're still having giveaways. They just don't say Bel Air Beach. But I want to get your thoughts on it. And if how anybody... many are we planning to give away? Well, 100 is what we did last time. Okay. So I'm, I would get 200 cannoli because we're hoping for a bigger crowd. Sure. And then once, obviously, that's done, that's done. And then for these, it's still so going to be... So just whenever we run out. Whenever we run out. Okay. And I think we have enough to make 75 to 100 gift bags of these. So you know what, though? Like last time, we gave everybody a koozie. Like, it would really only be one per household for these. Like, you don't need to give one to the husband and one to the wife mm -hmm. if they're together like we did the koozies. Sure. It would just be like one per family and they'll go further, okay. if that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, we I would love to have open discussion because um, I don't know if we want to try to find another dessert vendor to sell or something else to give away. I think the cannoli idea is a great idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the minimum on the bags? Like, what is the minimum order that has to be placed no, on? That's going to be 100. That's the rate in 100. And if uh, you get less, it goes up. Uh, yeah. So you're I getting gotcha. less and you're still paying the same price. I was just seeing, like, about like selling them, but I guess not. Oh, I asked him about that. Um, or like a beach tote that. or something. Like, you know, like those fabric bags it's with open. the, like, embroidery? That would go off the charts. Just saying. <laughs> no, no. <okay. laughs> How about after the calls are gone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Maybe we do those for the fall event because then yeah. we'll have more time. They're um, just like, like cute, and if the towels fit in there, I don't know. It's just an idea. No, no, I like it. I know the <laughs> merchandise, but it's nice to have. I'm not the in all Lynn's approval. I mean, I know. I'm just teasing. Um, but if, because I mean, I know I know it's not like next weekend, but I feel like we're kind of close on this. Like if we're going to order anything, it has to be ordered like now. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I just don't feel like we should like pressure. If, if everybody likes the cannoli idea and we're going to give away this stuff. In, yeah. yeah, no, that's fine. To, we've had that for a while. Yeah, they've Probably had this in the back for a couple of years. Yeah. So it would be nice to, you know, and, and people would like it. it, it you know, they would, it's, it's useful. useful. Hard to use. Yeah. Um, and then, so that leads me to, okay, so if you look at the budget, Okay, so the um, the entertainment is $800, that's locked in. The water and ice, we have 100, 100 for 200 people, which, you know, hopefully we have that or more. We can always run to Publix and get more. Um, the security is still the same. Okay, so we can't have a 50-50 raffle and we already have the decor. So I was wondering with that $100, it won't cost this much, but I saw these little like 
bags with music notes on it, this stuff definitely won't fit in there. But I just thought like little gift bags with handles, we, we could get that at like the dollar store or something to put this stuff in. I mean, I don't want to just be like, here you go. I would like yeah. to have it at Present least, it a little bit. yeah, a little bit nicer, especially, you know, I just, so if we could use that hundred dollars to get like plain, they don't even have to be fancy, just gift bags to put this in. Um, what do you guys think of that? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it can't be rolling around the grass out there, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something. And it's not, I don't want to put it in a Publix bag. That's like cheesy. Like, um, I know what you're talking about. The like, and I think what I would check with bags. too. I don't see. I don't know because you need to do it. I know you guys need to handle it. But like Maria orders two sizes of brown bags, and she probably gets them in bulk. And I could, you know probably get them from her at a better price than even the dollar store. Maria. Maria is the person I rent my skincare wow. suite from. But she's got boxes of the exact bags that I'm thinking of. So I would just see like where she gets them and how much she pays. That would be like a good indicator for like what we should be paying. Because I, I mean if we could get them like for under 50 cents a piece or I don't I don't want to You can get them on Amazon too. Okay. Yeah we'll, we'll price them out and price see. Price them out how much you're actually saving because anyway. Yeah. Depends. Yeah. If it's but, a big amount, then yeah, but if it's not that much, then we might as well just get them. On Amazon, same okay. Time. Yeah. So we could put that the 50 50. I mean, I don't think we still have all the decor from last year, I and all of it's still good. I don't know why we would go buy anything different. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, I forgot. Didn't you say you had some uh, Italian themed decor? No. Them at my other house. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. That's what Because we've had Italian theme parties, but it's all there. So, do we need anything to kind of really bring out the um, difference? Well, you know, so what would be cute is like if we did red checker tablecloths for the. Um, yeah. But see, like everything else, though, the signs that we already have made up, the tents, they're all in the Bel Air Beach blue and pink. So yeah. I don't know, like maybe for the cannoli table, we get a red and white checkered tablecloth. Like, yeah. and that would be more, we could use I mean, that for the water it's minimal, table. but it, like the little thing to add to the difference, I think. Yeah, no, that, <laughs> that's a good idea. And um, I'll look, I'll do a little research and see what I can find that will pop. And you know, we might not want to use, like we can still use the musical instruments for decor and the white, but we probably don't want to use the black and the purple. We would want yeah. to use red and green and white. Yeah. So, okay. So I'll look at that too. I have an Italian party pack decoration. <laughs> like 20 boxes. So you get all the things. Yeah. Bags. You guys are going to dress up like that, right? Like Italian? Like Mario and Luigi. <laughs> you know, I have a, the, uh, I have like chef, Italian chef hats and aprons. Like when we did our... Um, Okay, what was it called? Bring bring your own balls. It was a meatball party, and everybody made their own meatballs. And like I had my judges literally dress head to toe like Italian chefs. They were it was really cute, and they had their clipboards, and they were going around eating all the meatballs. But I don't have any. That's of this. all. It's yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, you know what though? Tim is going there. Maybe I'll see if he can bring some of the tablecloths back. Hey. Stuff that'll fit into his backpack. He'll be he'll be appreciative of that. Um, okay, so and then the signage, I know Kyle, are, you want to put together like a, um, and you know last time like when you did the Halloween signs, the orange, you couldn't read it when you were driving, so maybe stick okay. to the black lettering. Yeah. Because the orange was, it was cute. Well, I'll put something together and then it was hard to read. It, but I'll stay away from colors that are harder to see. Okay. Like red you'll be able to see, black you'll be able to see, and you'll be able to do a cute Italian theme. I'm really bummed we can't use the, the girl with the pizza slice. Well, if I can find something similar, okay. it's just, you know, with the copyrights. Oh, I got you. <clears throat> and then... At least you want to sketch your own. No. <laughs> and, Nicole, if you can find out, because it said drinks, if you can find out what he has for drinks. If he gives you pricing, it'll say, but I don't know if it's Coke or Pepsi or... Um, yeah, it's probably like cans. Yeah, let, yeah. Let him know that we're going to be giving away water. 
I mean, he can have it if you know we run out, but if we're giving it out, people aren't going to buy it. Um, what did we say the time was on this? Four thirty to seven thirty. And then, like, I'm going to look through my notes, but just off the top of my head, like, when I went back through, okay, after the jazz in the park, we talked about, okay, what would we do different? What would we do better? And one was, like, make announcements and say thank yous. And I don't have a problem doing that. Like, but that day, I just felt like we were running around with chickens with their heads cut off trying to decorate and do all that stuff, like, right before. So it never even dawned on me. So, like, we'll have something prepared in advance to say, um, even if it's just to say thank you to the food truck and to you know announce what they have or whatever the case may be, announce the band. Um, maybe we will have our new mayor say a couple of words when the band takes a break. Um, but we'll plan something because like that was the one thing I thought we were missing last time. And then my other question for you is, did you like the merchandise table right up there? Was it loud? I mean, I know I was up there selling a couple times, but like overall, was it cramped or crowded or loud with the music or were no, you it fine? Was good. It was perfect right there. Yeah, yeah I don't know our band too loud. Okay. I'd rather it be under the cover than like Out and deal the with the music. Had, like, corralled in there, locked in. Yeah, and then I had this stuff on the the benches so it was good to yeah, just you had a nice little it. cubby and that was yeah. a good display that we had and like I'll get some you know how we had the the I got pink and colorful ones last time I'll get some red and green and I have red green and white yeah. clips yeah. for like to show the um, merch merch can anybody think of anything else that we um, I bet you my notes are right in here, but I'm not going to dig through this pile right now. Um, things that we would do differently from the Jazz Fest to translate into, we have two tents now. So now, you know, we didn't have it at Jazz, so now we yeah, have a tent have for the, um, the water table and the community table. So we'll probably give the cannoli away at the water table. We'll just keep that together. And um, I don't know, like the community- Where would they be, at the entrance to the path? Probably right where, remember last year we moved them like six times. You may have gone left to go get Donna. We moved those tables so many times. And I think where we landed was good. And it's around the same time. I know it's a different time of year, so we might have to play with it. But like the food truck was here, if you remember, the Italian ice. And the, the water and the community table were kind of right across. And then the middle was open. Mm -hmm. And that worked out well. As long as we have like... It's good that we have two tents this time because it was blazing hot, like, if you weren't under a tent. Did the t I don't remember, but I don't think the tents last time had any labels on them or any signage or anything like that. No, because we my neighbor bought that. Yeah, like, we didn't, we didn't have, have any tents and she was boiling, so they ran home and got it for us. Thank you, Scotty and Lan. Mm -hmm. uh, but this year, you know, we, we bought them for, and they're about Laura, the color Laura of Halloween. Too, or she had chairs. She had chairs yes, and, a, her, and an umbrella. Oh, okay. She had an umbrella. I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, we Halloween. bought them for the Halloween thing. Yeah, so yeah. we have two blue ones. Aren't they like the color of your shirt? The tents? They're Aren't they blue? blue yeah. Dark. Yeah. yeah. So the, they're, we ordered them from Amazon, so they're definitely not logoed or anything. Okay. Um, no, I just, well, I don't know. If, do we want to put some signage on them? Well, we have the signage on the table that is underneath mm -hmm. the tent. So, okay. like, we could possibly move the signage up if that would make it easier to read. It might be easier just in general to fasten, fasten it to the tent. As opposed to we're messing with the table things. We can yeah. play with it, but it'll probably work better. Yeah, we can move the signage up to the tent. If I'm just trying to, that's kind of directions for people. Oh, oh there's the such and such. Yeah. And you know, I, I, maybe a lot of times they would look up before they would look down. Right. So we'll definitely, that's a good idea, we'll move the signs. But they're already made and we're going to use what we have and they match perfect. So I know they're not Italian themed, but that's okay. Um, yeah, they're generic, they're good for everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and what was the resolution on the sign, like the digital sign? We're putting it on there or we're not putting it on there? Yeah. We are. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're not going to do the big banner. We're going to put it on the sign. Yeah. And then the day of, we'll sign. keep it on the sign like we do. Can you put it up like three weeks in advance? Yeah. And then can you put something about um, see Beller Beach website for menu or something? We'll have to figure out what we're going to put up. Okay. There's if you put it in, in space. We don't want to overload it. Yeah. But we want to make sure we guide people where they can get more. Or maybe just yeah, see see our website for details. Yeah, and then we'll lay it out on there. Okay. Yeah. Because we still want to make sure they know, like you know, they need to bring like their their chairs and their umbrellas and their coolers. Yeah. But all those little details will get on the website. Okay. Hmm. You try to kind of write up everything. For the digital. For Patty. Oh yeah. For the website. Okay, I already did. So. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, I'll let you um, proof it and see if I need to add anything. Um, the only thing that I um, don't want to do, and, and like uh, last year, it said because the name of the band is still the Jazz Fools, but like they have a singer that wasn't there last time that does all of the Frank Sinatra rap pack. So I don't want to put the. Sorry, I don't want to put the band's name because then it sounds like it's a jazz band. No. Yeah, we're just going because we put it on everything last time. We're not going to do that this time because I don't technically know if they change their name with a different singer. But sure, no, we're just going to leave it. Care. Yeah, they won't care. Um, We have two more meetings before this event. We're going to have our next regular meeting, which if we keep it where we normally have it will be Wednesday, April 13th at 2 o'clock. And then we're going to do as we normally do before an event, the Friday before, which is the 29th at 2 o'clock, we'll come in here for setup. And like last time, I think, wasn't there a wedding or something on Friday so we couldn't put stuff up, or did we not put it up because we were afraid it would blow away? I can't remember. Blowing away. Okay. Yeah. We, it, the we only just, thing that was a pain well, was... We didn't want to leave it up a whole night, you know, just because... Someone can mess with it or anything can happen to it. Yeah, the biggest pain was hanging those poof balls from the rafters. And they were cute, but like what stuck out were the music notes. And maybe we just put something Italian, if we get some Italian flags or whatever it is, on the beams. And then we don't need a ladder. We're not dealing with string. We're yeah, not trying to make we things. We were lucky to help. We had a ton of help. took a while, but we were lucky to have help. Yeah, and by the time it started, we were all sweating and frazzled. So it's like if we could make that go a little smoother, because I think I ran up and down that hill about 150 times sure that did. day. <laughs> it's like boom, 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 boom. So it's like, yeah, if we, you know, I think we may have learned a little bit. So this one should be easier. Mm -hmm. So, but we do have two meetings beforehand. And if you guys think of anything in the middle, like you wake up in the middle of the night, George, and this great idea comes to you, just email it to Patty, and she'll send it out to us so we can start working on it before. Call Patty immediately. Call Patty immediately in so she can the disseminate night. the information. At my age, I'm up most of the night anyway. So. <laughs> just email just her. Just time with her. <laughs> so the first meeting is going to be the 13th of April? Yeah, if that's good for everybody, I'm going to have her email it out like she normally does. I expect to get a birthday card. Is that your birthday? Yeah. Oh, nice. How about a birthday cake? I'm going to be an old man. How I am old an old be? man. How old will you be? Uh, I think 78. I think. <laughs> you don't know? But somewhere around there. <laughs> Cute. Um. Yeah, so if you think of anything other than that that we've talked about or like you have a, a great idea for like something Italian that would, you know, be easy um, but make a pop mm -hmm. and you want us, you know, to research pricing or if you have pricing, just send it to Patty and then she'll disseminate it out to all of us. And um, because, you know, we have a, basically a month and a half. Um, yeah, look on Amazon and say we found that pretty easy and cheap. Yeah, and I might come in, if anybody wants to, you don't have to, like the Thursday before and put gift bags together. Because trying to put gift bags together and decorate and put the tables together on Friday afternoon will be too much, I think. Um, like in the last time we did gift bags for Halloween, it, we, it didn't take us any time at all. I mean, it was like we just laid out all the bags and shoved stuff in there and it was good. So it shouldn't be too, too long, but 
Um, okay. Car wash bag sample signage. And then we're still going to be cash only for the merchandise table. Okay. There was more of a question, and Kyle shook his yeah. head yes. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, does anybody have anything else to add to that topic? All good? Okay, next item. Merchandise inventory in new order. So I took inventory before our meeting today. We have one pink ladies t-shirt and extra large. We have one large pink tank top and two medium pink tank tops and that's it for the women. And then for men's we have nine light blue two XLs. So I think... I guess no one likes two XL. See, and before we needed them and we didn't have them. Oh, uh, well, so, I guess we got them now for when that ever happened. So we'll see if who, who pops up at the event. But um, so Nicole and Kyle are going to figure out and go next week yeah. to Mary Mouse and put an order together. And right. you guys do whatever you want. Like, we don't need to, we trust your judgment. Do, do like, anything you want. Do anything you want. <laughs> okay. Oh, brother. I mean, if you want t shirts or tank well, tops or. Um, what color, I mean, it doesn't matter. They all sell. We've had like six or seven different colors and they all sold. We had gray and dark blue and light blue and pink and yellow and peach and... It's the merch expert. Yeah, that's why it's good she's going with you. And then everything just has to be logo, no date. Logo, no, no date. date. Yeah, no, no date. Yeah. Five times. 105. <laughs> and in writing. And we shouldn't, I mean, nothing should be upcharged this time because we don't need any 2XL. Um, mm -hmm. We didn't get 2XLs in women's, right? No, Not it's only up to, to XL, XL, I think. But that would only be for like the tanks. Because the shirts were unisex. Sorry, did you just read off a 2XL in your inventory? For men's. Women? Just men. Oh, was it? Women's. Is one, what was the large. one thing you said? One XL. Oh, it was an XL. There, yeah, there's one extra large gotcha. in this. Oh, for the T? But the it's tank? those, the fitted T. It was XL up, right? No. It was 2XL? 2XL, yeah. Okay. The XLs weren't upcharged. Um, but those women's fitted tank, the, the T-shirts, they're not very big. Yeah. Like, they don't look like the men's 2XLs. They're like the fourth of the size of those T-shirts. So it's like... Um, I like the shirt that I bought. That, remember like The that, green like, one? Yeah, like... Yeah. Because you guys have the same shirt. Yeah, it was like really soft. Although, George, I've never seen you wear yours, but it's green, so you can wear it to this and it will go with the theme. I can wear it. I've never seen you wear it. <laughs> Around the house. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah. What's the budget for that? Do we have uh, a budget? No. Uh, well, you have to order the minimum, so there's yeah, no, I mean. What is the was minimum? Oh, 30 t shirts. Yeah. Oh. So we were always getting like. Um, 15 and 15, but like, because we have four women's and nine men's, you might skew a little bit more towards the yeah. ladies. Yeah. yeah. And obviously the men's, you know, you know, it's like, just get like maybe four mediums, hardly no smalls and the rest in large, large, large and large. extra large. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then okay. the women's same thing. Like they're made real small. And so, we have some mediums and larges. I mean, just use your best judgment and vary it. Yeah. I mean, there's not a whole lot we can do because we don't know who's showing up. Yeah, we gotta analyze the actual shirt we're buying this time. Yeah, and make sure they have it in inventory because that's usually yes. a problem. Okay. So whatever they have there, I'll just pick out yeah. right off the shelf. Yeah. So okay. thank you guys in advance for doing that. That's always fun. We gotta make sure he has enough of the prints too because he ran out of those last time. He said he had enough. Oh, the other iron Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the oh brother. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Just give us Bel Air Beach right across. Done. I'm just kidding. He doesn't have it. So, are we only gonna have t shirts and towels at this event to mm -hmm. sell? You don't wanna get koozies or stickers or. We have license plates too. What about the hats? We, what yeah, we gotta sell those license plates. What about the hats? Yeah, you guys always had hats. That wasn't us. No, I know. What about like black and white? Black and white hats? 
Black hats with our logo on it would look really cute. Fire. The white would be a lot of white, but the black would be sharp. Where do they come from? <laughs>